Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Wings of Wonder tribe. We're on this very rainy day, one of the most beautiful nichelings ever to be born within our tribe has appeared inside of this nest. Look at Ravenleaf. He is exactly what I always hope to get with the beautiful tail feathers. A nicheling who makes those rippling, shimmering, iridescent glimmers of the tail feathers really stand out with his entirely black melanistic body, including his black horns. This is just, this is amazing. If his eyes were black too, that would just seal the deal of how fantastic he is. But he has been born and he is actually of the Lily line. So he is now most likely, because he is uh, aesthetically the most gorgeous nicheling on the island, probably going to be considered the leader of the tribe. And we will have to see where he will take us should he survive these very sharp claws and fangs that we, or like beak and claws that we've got going on the bluebird, which the nichelings normally, they, they, they kind of are excited to see any type of feathered creature, but no amount of singing and no amount of attempts to attract the attention of that winged bird have brought it down to talk to them. So they don't know how dangerous it is yet because they've not lost a baby to it, but they don't really worship it either because they're looking for a red and gold nicheling with wings that they remember from their tribe's long ago dreams. So let's carry on. We've got a lot going on and I really want to see Ravenleaf grow up. Uh, and a lot of our tribe is actually sick and dying, which is not the best. And speaking of sick and dying, we are actually going to have Gia eat from this healing plant now and hopefully gain back a little bit of his life as he is the current leader and he is definitely a nicheling of justice. So he is a great leader and one we definitely want to keep with us for a while. Yes, that brought back so much of his life. Oh my goodness, that is going to bring Joy's heart so much joy to have her mate stick around for much longer. Oh, thank goodness. So I think that would convince Gia to tell all of the available nichelings who are not in charge of the nest or immediate defense to search out more of these healing plants because they will help to strengthen the weakened nichelings. And the fact that his children and his brother and himself happen to be among those weakened nichelings is not a fact that has escaped his attention, but hopefully uh, hopefully, it'll, it'll still come off as benevolent. So yeah, he, he kind of wants to live. So he has just sent out the command. There's- <gasps> That's a wing. That is a wing. He has sent out the command for the nichelings to search for a more healing fruit, and if they happen to find something else while they're at it, then that would be amazing. All right, come on, cool leaf. Come on. Ah, oh, nobody here. Rogue male. Rogue male. I gotta get rid of him. All right, so Enzinzar is trying to defend this side. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh my gosh. Takirta. Oh my gosh. It's a winged nicheling. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm kind of panicking. This is amazing. This is amazing. We kind of have a winged nicheling right here. I need to be able to reach him. Here he comes. Okay, flame leaf. Okay, who are we gonna have over here? Keisha? Okay, get over here. And, okay, we got him! <gasps> oh my gosh. We have our very first winged nicheling! <laughs> And he is nothing like we thought he would look like. But over here, Lemon Song has been singing her heart out in an attempt to attract the winged nicheling into the tribe, and we just unlocked wings. Oh my gosh. I think that's Lemon Song's mate. That is Lemon Song's mate. This is something that just as the healing fruit is discovered, that would shake the world by the rafters. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Flame Leaf, you're gonna come over here on defense. We have a secondary rogue male coming on in and walking straight into the clearing on this rainy day with his wings before him is a winged nicheling, which I think would make Lemon Song stop singing in shock and rush to his side because she feels this is fate and that they have been paired for one another, even though they could still have sickly children. Gosh darn, that makes Gia's insistence on searching out the healing fruits even more important. 
but I feel that Lemon Song would immediately claim Takirta as her own mate, and uh, he actually apparently can't fly, even though he has a wing, so maybe that's why he's here. And he's not as attractive as she thought he would be, but those wings definitely are. So we're gonna, uh, we'll leave Takirta's name Takirta, and Lemon Song is immediately going to try to take him as a mate. Uh, and apparently that's going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. And I don't really see anything I would want her to pass on just yet. So what about you, buddy? You need normal blood clotting. You need higher fertility. Man, maybe we won't actually get a baby out of him. That would be so ironic. Uh, all right, there you go. There, we'll, we'll say those are like blessings for him coming into our tribe. All right, so that didn't work. I think that that, that definitely, and he can't feed himself. What can you do, buddy? Well, they finally had a baby, so I think he wasn't going to turn down this absolutely gorgeous female that showed up and insisted on making him her mate. So that's kind of stunning. Uh, all right, well, and that means that the little ones, Sun Lily is going to climb on up and give it her best try, and she and Thistle Lily are going to try to learn how to sing. Nightleaf, I think, will watch over them because he wants to make sure that they're, they're fine. And Mouse Lily actually needs to join them at the singing group. So she's going to pop over there. Uh, Sand Lily will come back over to her nest and get herself nice and comfy. And we're going to have Nearleaf, who is of the singing line as well. But I think he wants to kind of do a little bit of defense. So we're going to let Nearleaf head out with any of the other, the kind of sickly brothers guarding our line. Flameleaf, aha! Flameleaf is up here to try to keep the rogue males off. And Gia is going to pop back down to his beloved mate, Joy, who he now gets to spend more of his life with, which I think would make both of them very, very happy. Uh, however, he will still get her sick, so we need to move quickly. Oh, dang it. They had an extra move. I didn't realize it. Joy could have tried to get pregnant. Uh, all right. And meanwhile, Nerith is, is facing quite a bit of damage by accident. So he's going to jump over here. He is wounded. He has a cold. He has a leech. Poppy Lily, who has fallen in love with him, will not let this stand. She will take the risk of becoming sick to cure her mate and stand next to their beautiful son, Ravenleaf. Wow, this has been so cool. What a huge day all around. All right, so let's see what happens next. Sun? The sun has come out! Huzzah! Oh no, and now Poppy Lily is sick. All right, so the sun has come out. We have a new baby. We've got so much going on. Uh, let's start over here. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful and... And... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sand Lily had a child who doesn't have anything. Oh my goodness. Anna Riri. We're gonna name her little Anna. And I don't think that she will actually be of the Lily line. Well, she does. We'll name her Anna Lily. But I think that she is kind of like an honorary lily. She is a lily line because she does have the female peacock tail feather. So we'll say that she could be one of the singers. But she she has double she has double nimble or velvet paw. And um, I don't think she has any interest in being part of the lily line. Uh, she well she doesn't display any of the feathers. She might. She's kind of like a backup lily, I think. She's not quite as enamored with the idea of being a lily as those born with tail feathers. We're starting to develop a much more like stratified society as time goes on, and Anna Lily has been born with not a single a single tail feather. So I think that would have taken her mother back by shock and should teach Sand Lily the punishment that she should face for standing in the way of true love. And Nerith, I really don't want you to die. I really don't want Nerith to die, but I don't think we have any other healing plants around, uh, which we will try to change. In fact, I'm going to send a little uh, new leaf. He's going to jump out to the edges. Aha! He found that rogue male. And there we go. Flame Leaf is going to try to keep him away. Kisho can come over here and try to keep him away too. Found him again. All right, we'll try to take care of him. All right, Zenzara might have to take care of him in a second. And whoops, all right. Uh, well, gotta get some food as well. We're starting to run a little low on food. All right, so let's see. Uh, and of course, Lemon Song just found her mate, and this is kind of a huge deal. So Lemon Song is going to go ahead and maybe build a nest right next to the. Well, she found the mate she wanted, actually. So I, I think that she's going to do the honors of having some of the very first nichelings. Uh, we'll have her make a nest under the tree, even though it's risky. 
I think that she's hungry and that those uh, nuts smell really good. So she would insist on nesting near the tree. There we go. And we'll have her mate who cannot really do much for himself. <laughs> He'll go ahead and come over while the whole tribe stares at him in utter bafflement. Uh, oh, and then Lemon Song. I'm going to have her possibly pass on the wings because she really wants to have a child with wings. So we're going to let her actually, because she is the one who attracted the winged nicheling, I'm going to give her both double wings so they maybe have a child who can fly, which would be pretty amazing. And Zinzar, he needs to scoot over so he doesn't get anyone sick. And he'll come here and Kuleaf can go ahead and clear out some of this area. He's been guarding this zone for so long. And let's see, Joy? Joy definitely wants to have another child with her mate now that he has longer to live. So we'll let them get comfortable. There we go, and she'll nibble some of those. We'll send Rose Lily over to train with the other lilies at singing. Because they are still working on unlocking that peacock tail. And Thistle Lily will help to clear out the area. All of the lilies are trying to help each other. They, they are kind of lily sisters in spirit now more than anything else. And Sand Lily... I think is feeling a little irritated and like she is being left out of all of the good mates and she really wants to have a child who happens to have those wings. So I think that Sand Lily might actually wiggle her way up and try her luck with having a child with Takirta uh, for sure. Should she leave? Okay, she might risk leaving her, her daughter in order to sneak up there and try to make it happen too. Alright, Ravenleaf can scoot over. He is currently the most gorgeous nicheling on the island, if you ask me. And we're gonna have these two. Come on, come on. Nerith, come on. Nerith, you don't have long for this world. Oh my gosh. Nerith is so weak and now Poppy Lily is a little bit sick, but I want them to have more children because Ravenleaf is amazing. Uh, all right, yeah. And I think that San Lily is actually a little bit selfish enough that she would sneak up here and try to convince Takirta uh, to take on another lovely mate that just throws herself at him. And they'll leave poor Anna Lily kind of exposed. We might have Nightleaf step in and kind of take over watching her so that she doesn't die. Wow! <laughs> so much sickness! So much doom! Everyone's sick and dying yet again. Uh, all right, so let's see, where to begin? Yeah, I think that Nightleaf would be very annoyed to find that one of the children were just left on their own and kind of abandoned like that. So he's going to take Anna Lily under his paw and hopefully guide her well. This Lily is now the eldest of all of the lilies, so I think she would gently say it's her turn to come up here and sing. There we go. And then Sun Lily and the others will continue to kind of work with one another, clear out the areas, uh, try to find, like, Mouse Lily just found a nest that's good for them. There we go. <gasps> and we just had a double winged baby boy. Oh my gosh. He has not got the face that I thought we would, but he is our very first winged nicheling. He might be my very first flying nicheling ever. <gasps> what are we going to name him? Lemon Song. What do you want to name your son? I'm so happy that the lemon drop line has actually produced the very first winged nicheling who can possibly fly. So I'm going to name him, I'm going to name him, uh, Sun, Sunspot. There we go. So we have Sunspot and he is ready to fly once he comes of age. This is so exciting. <laughs> That's exciting enough. Sandley would definitely convince him. Uh, you know what? You should take on another mate really quickly. And I think Sandley actually doesn't want to go too far. She is going to sneak up here and make herself quite comfortable because she is very good at figuring out the strategic locations to go. And she's left behind her daughter, uh, Sun Lily, who is very beautiful and mm, might make an okay mate. Okay, not perfect, but okay mate for Sunspot in the future. Sunspot and Sun Lily actually sound kind of amazing. And we're going to have Zinzar. Oh, Zinzar is about to pass away. No. I really like him. Zenzar, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, old man. Make yourself comfortable in your final moments, okay? Uh, let's see. And I'm going to have... Who next? Who next? Ravenleaf is old enough to jump over here and start doing some exploring. And his mother, Poppy Lily. Oh, she's not sick anymore. And really wants to have another child. There we go. With Nerith, who is in his final days, which is a tragedy. 
I'm, I'm gonna let him actually stay next to his mate. I don't think that he would want to leave his mate's side. Uh, so that's that's definitely happening. Let's see, a new leaf. Nearleaf uh, is quite the adventurer and he wants to find where there might be more ways to heal nichelings. So he's going to dedicate his life to that, hopefully unlocking the purse now if we stumble on it. Uh, and Kisho is also sickly. Yeah, and I don't think we're going to find up in this area anything that could cure us, but we might be able to move over to the whale island, which would be kind of fun. So I'm going to let Kisho clear the area around him. I'm gonna let Flame Leaf do the same because now that we have winged nichelings in the family, that's extremely important. That's huge news. That's like now this Takirta guy is suddenly one of the most famous nichelings on the island. And Lemon Song definitely needs to have a, another child. All right, they had better luck that time. And we'll let this, like, Takirita, I feel like he doesn't have a lot going on upstairs. He's not the smartest nicheling, but he's leaving behind some beautiful children that will hopefully be able to fly for the first time. And then finally down here, wow, he kind of reminds me of a little lion. So we have a child who I shall name Lion, uh, let's see, is he, is he, he's not part of the lily lion, is he? So I could name him whatever the heck I want. <laughs> uh, I think we might name him, hmm. I think maybe just like, uh, let's go with Gia for justice, joy. You know what? Yeah, let's go with, um, let's go with Li, uh, Lion, just like straight up Lion. Let's go with Leon, Leonar, Leonar, hmm, no, Leon, Leonar, uh, Lee. Uh, like Leon is kind of like a derivative of mm, okay all right I'm thinking about it too much uh, we're gonna go with uh, let's see what's his brother's name we have cool leaf a new leaf uh, floating around up there joy is not a, okay sorry I'm thinking about it too much this is what happens when you try to use a naming system in order to keep track of all of your niche links he's just going to be uh, Leon like that there we go what a beautiful niche link he is also a gorgeous son that they can be proud to have had. Their first son, actually, now that I think about it. And <gasps> he's healthy. Good. Oh, I'm so used to all my nichelings being sick that I forgot that these two actually have healthy babies. <laughs> so there we go. She's going to make a new nest and get comfy and continue having some children. We are up at 20 nichelings now, so I'm probably going to start slimming it down. However, I am about to start running out of nichelings. Can't forget that. Can't forget that. All right. We're going to have Kulif. Uh, explore up along this area. So there we go. All right, a baby boom is incoming. Oh, and we lost some of my favorites. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh my goodness. We lost a couple of our sickly nichelings, including Poppy Lily's beloved mate, leaving behind a little girl uh, who, who I think I'm just gonna, I know this is a silly name, but we're gonna name her uh, Love Lily. As silly as that sounds, but Poppy Lily truly did fall in love with Nerith, and now he is gone and has left behind a little love Lily. Uh, and I just, I, I think she's adorable. So I don't know if Poppy Lily will take on another mate. She was very, very happy with the mate that she had. And Ravenleaf is amazing. So he's actually going to be given the marker of until these two were born. Look at them! Look at them! We have Sunspot, and now we have his brother. And what are we gonna name you? Can you, he can, he can fly, I think. Uh, we're gonna name him, hmm. I guess Lemon Song and Sunspot. And let's name this one, Lemon. Let's name him, let's name him uh, Lemon Sky. There we go, Lemon Sky. Kind of to honor the lemon line that he is from. So we have a winged nicheling, <gasps> and we have a baby girl with wings! Oh my gosh, Sand Lily, your sneaky sneakiness has finally paid off. We have a little girl who happens to have wings. Uh, she has bad eyesight, a la her father, and she, oh my goodness, I think she also has a little bit of hemophilia in her blood, but, and, and platypus beak and toxic body, oh my goodness, but, she is the beautiful winged nicheling that we need and hopefully we'll be able to breed with some of our other lines. I think that this would make her mother, Sand Lily, extremely, extremely excited. 
So we're going to name her. Look at her with her wing. This is so beautiful. Uh, we're going to name her Glory Lily. Yeah, you know what? Glory Lily. Because Sand Lily's got a lot of pride. A lot, a lot, a lot of pride. But all right, we are losing some of our line. We are gaining some others. We are finally unlocking some of the genes. We need to call 10 more times to unlock Peacock Tail. And then the only things, now that we have wings, that we are missing will be looking for the um, bird beak, which we need to fly 50 times in order to do that. So we may actually finally be able to do that with the sunspot line. And the lemon line actually managed to get there. And we also need to unlock, let's see, so that would be wings, tail feather, bird beak, and I think there's one more, isn't there, that we were going after? Hmm. Because we got the wings, got the tail feather. We were going after the bird beak. Oh, is there anything else? I could have sworn. I think, I think, actually, wouldn't that do it? Wouldn't that give us both wings? It would give us the tail feathers. It would give us the bird beak. I think I'm forgetting one, and I feel ridiculous for thinking that I'm forgetting one, but I think I'm forgetting one. But then we would have unlocked everything, which would be so amazing. So all right, we will carry on with their adventures next time, and I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.